And now joining me tonight uh, in our studios, I have with me uh, the former Minister for Energy, Chandima Virakkodi, uh, who is also an MP in the ruling governing party. Uh, a very warm welcome to uh, our studios, uh, former Minister. Yeah, thank you for inviting me on your studio. Uh, so I, th I think in, um, in, in 14 years, uh, fuel prices, uh, crude prices world over has soared uh, to its highest, 130 US dollars a barrel right now. Um, Sri Lanka is grappling to sort out the issue to manage the current demand. But we remember during your tenure too, there were price hikes, but not an unprecedented situation as this. Uh, what are your thoughts? How should we go in for a restructure? Do you think fuel prices here should be increased or uh, should it be managed otherwise? Well, you, if we have a uh, vision in the government and if the government has really understood the priorities, they would have had a program. But now this has come quite unexpectedly. So I don't know whether the government has subsidized to that extent. So it is a uh, decision that the government should take whether they can they, they can look into the grievances of people who are really suffering at the moment. Otherwise, they should uh, increase the prices and generate income for the government. So, it, it is a it is a decision for the government decision makers to uh, decide. What I believe is the priority should be understood. First of all, we must have availability of work. Now the issue is not the price, non-availability. Then, non-availability of food of uh, fuel is due to non-availability of dollars. How are we going to address that immediately? In such circumstances, when prices reach up and in an unprecedented manner, how are we going to face it? So, it, I think. The, the Minister of Finance, Town of Central Bank, together with the Cabinet and the President, should have a strategy to resolve this issue. Uh, you mentioned that there should be a, a prioritizing um, effort by the government. You are part of this government. Is there a strategy? Is there genuine interest or a coordinated effort? You said the Central Bank, uh, the Finance Ministry and the Cabinet should work together to find a, a solution here. Uh, and you mentioned that the grievances of the people should be understood. But again, there is non-availability due to a, a, a forex crisis in the country. Uh, so are all the essentials here together to address this situation? Well, there is now there is a routine committee that sits in the Ministry of Energy weekly. That is a stock review meeting. So when you sit at the stock review meeting, you get prepared as a team for three, four months ahead. Had that been properly done, I don't think you would have faced this situation, I must say, because that meeting is represented by the the chairman, the minister, secretary is there, CPC is there, PSTL is there, IOS is there, CEB is there, and all the, the private power plant operators are there. And the requirements are taken into consideration and based on that, the orders are made. So if that uh, had been uh, handled in a proper manner, I think you would have had to, first of all, face this situation. So otherwise, even from now, I think they should start that and then the, the Minister of Energy should properly yes, and coordinate with the Minister of Finance because the, the, result, the solution is not in the hands of the Minister of Energy. It is in the hand of the Minister of uh, Finance and the Cabinet. Are you so saying I think it, this is a matter for them to do. Uh, are you result. saying, are you saying there has been a failure from the part of these relevant ministries and uh, authorities uh, to address this situation and the failure and, and this situation could have been averted uh, with prompt and uh, prudent measures taken earlier? Absolutely. The, 
the president and the cabinet should take the responsibility because had this been uh, handled in a in a manner that uh, this would not have arisen taking into consideration the the availability uh, uh, foreign market and the availability of dollars and the priority of uh, uh, and priority and the importance of having uh, fuel available right through this country see these these have not been considered properly i think that's the main reason for this right. crisis uh, very quickly, we have you have just a minute. Um, I'd like to ask you what next now for Sri Lanka. What, what what do you think we need to do right now? If we failed before, if certain measures should have been taken, but but that was not that were not. What do we do now? What next? Next, I suppose the main thing is to resolve this dollar crisis. In order to resolve that, we have to first of all. Thing. I mean, we have been telling this to the government to try and restructure our loans, ask for some money to pay our installments, but and at the same time, find a way to get some dollars to have breathing space. They, we, the government will have to address those. And with that, most of the issues, pressing issues can be resolved as I see.